Hey everyone, this is back to do a mascara review slash demo on the MAC Extreme Dimension, the 3D one. Got this in Ipsy, not for January, but for December. And I just wanted to go ahead and do the first impressions right quick, so I'm just going to open it. I was about to hear my phone buzz. Is a plastic bristle, which means I'm more likely to like this. It looks like it's got a spike ball at the top, but it could just be from like a clump on it or something. Anyway, let's go forward so I can see. If you guys hear any type of like noise, my mom's TV's on, it's low, but it's on and my door's open today. Cause it is currently 10.45 at night and she is on her way to work because she works night shift. It's her preference, which I don't know why. I feel like I would rather do day shift so my schedule can get all just me and Mama say Caddy Wampus. Or most people would say like discombobulated, but me and her just have a certain way of saying things. Okay. Keep in mind I did not curl them, so I'm sure if they had if I'd actually curled them with a lash curler, probably would have turned out better. But from what I do see, it is very pigmented. Like I saw the pigment like straight away, so that's really nice. I do like that. I like the fact that the brush is plastic bristle, just because that is my personal preference. And. I like the fact that it lengthens. If you're looking for a good, like, lengthening one, then this one might work for you. I feel like a lot of the MAC mascaras do more length than they, than they do volume. With the exception of the one that has, like, the pink and purple lid. You know, you unscrew the pink and then put it back in and then unscrew the purple to finish and put it back in. I forget the name of it. It's not coming to me, but... I think that one is volumizing, but as far as the rest of them, I'm pretty sure that they are lengthening. Don't quote me, I could be wrong. I have not tried a lot of MAC stuff, but now that it's in the Belk in my mall, I might start trying some stuff from that and do first impressions for you guys of certain things. So... Overall, I do like it. I do like that it lengthens because typically for me, I don't necessarily need volume. I just need a length. And so I like that this separates and it doesn't like clump and make it look like I have freaking spider lashes. I hate that. That's why I didn't try the Maybelline Colossal Spider Lash or something. Whatever it was called, that's why I didn't try that. I hate that look. No offense to anybody that likes that. I personally just do not. So. <laughs> just no offense in that regard. But, yeah. Hopefully you guys liked this review on the Maybelline mascara. Let me know down below some things that, you know, you guys would like to know that I might not have mentioned. Out of mascaras that I have tried for this channel, this one is probably in my top 10. I would not say top 5, but top 10. So, But, with all that being said, 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon in another video, and another time. Bye, Roses.